<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Think Share. My name's Zach. Here are brains we've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to, reading about that doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. I am uh, I'm going to be doing an experimental live stream today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how I um, playback friendly, probably more like if you're on live, it'll be interesting, but um, it, yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to edit some video and at the same time, because um, you know, I don't need to be in, in solitude to do that. I thought I would invite some people to sort of watch as I go along. So if you're, you know, if you're someone that's been watching me and you're, there's a little bit of curiosity on the things that I edit, how I do it, um, I wanted to give you a little bit of that and I'm going to hit you with my intro. So um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, pretty much just doing a screen share. I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be working with iMovie, which is the normal thing that I usually do all my editing with. Um, you know, I've been doing a ton of live streams lately. It's been really fun uh, talking with people. So let me, I just got to get this set up so I can uh, have iMo iMovie open so you guys can see what I'm doing and so I can see the chat on the side as well so that I'm not um, just kind of talking to myself. That would be kind of boring, but I can answer your questions along the way. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute to I'm gonna screen share here. All right, got that now. All right, so I got iMovie open. So the blog or vlog that I've been working on recently that I think some people have been sort of anticipating is uh, in April vacation, I started working on um, learning to do a backflip. And the really fun part of that is uh, I took a ton of video of it. The other challenge of it is I took a ton of video of it. So I have a ton, like a ton of um, information. I have a ton of video and the challenge is I have so much of it that it's kind of a problem. So what I wanted to work on was I wanted to work on the vlog itself and uh, even give you some people an opportunity to watch as I do it and even give me some sort of ideas as I'm doing it. Um, so again, I'm gonna screen share. Let me just, I gotta put the, I wanna put the comments on the side here so that I can see them. Uh, otherwise I won't, I'll have a hard time answering any of your questions or anything. Where is it? Chat's all right. Chat's over here. All right. And by the way, um, if any, if at any point you guys would really like to know how to start uh, one of these hangouts, um, it's a kind of a fun process. I, I'd be happy to show you how to do it. Um, but I'm just gonna scoot this over here so I can see y'all at the same time. I can go back in. So I can edit at the same time and see your comments. Let's see, there we go. Let's scoot this over a little bit. Nice. Now I can see everything at the same time. All right. All right. Got Alex in here. Nice. Got daily vlog. Got Kathy. So a little bio on a couple of, of these people for those that don't know each other. Um, Alex is one of the students that's in the school that I actually teach at. Um, I don't actually have him for a student, but he's been really or no straws or I said, hell yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, last last week, I um, invited people to take on some a challenge from another YouTuber to not um, order straws. And so he said he did that. Um, that daily vlogger has been, um, he started out as that scooter kid. And I've been working with him a little bit. And I said, I'm going to do a Google Hangout with him after 21 days of making daily vlogs. He's not been... Uh, he, he's been producing things that haven't all been blogs or vlogs um, and we've been sort of been growing along the way and uh, Kathy Miss Kathy and Jesse is um, last week I did a live stream with them is this still live oh um, I did a, a live stream with them and me and Kathy talked for like I want to say like an hour and a half or something it was really fun um, and I look forward to talking with her about, she, she bought my book. She's going to be doing a review soon. I look forward to talking to her about that. So, um, and my best friend in your thread, I know my best friend, you're dead. I forget if you actually have like a channel, but you've been in my thread quite a bit. Um, but 
I'm realizing I don't know a ton about you yet. Um, best friends, it's tough when you have a ton of footage. Yeah. So to give you a little back, so if you can see right here, I got I'm down to 33 minutes of um, footage. Started out with two and a half hours, and I've cut it way down. And the other issue is so if you see in here, I got some different angles. So this girl right here. Um, and a couple of the other gymnasts in the gym, they you can notice this is a different camera angle than this one. That I literally like three or four of them. So I'm gonna pause it right here. If you can see way back there, that girl is this girl right here, and she's all the way in the back, and she actually got footage from back there. So a couple of the backflip shots are actually shot at the same time in different areas, and I don't know which one's which necessarily. Um, Am I using OBS? I'll be honest. I don't know what OBS is. It's really actually in. Oh, I see you're actually in Hangouts. I'm not sure what you mean by OBS. Change from top chat to live chat. Oh, I see. Live chat. There we go. I'm going to be coming out with a video telling what I did today. Cool. I do have a channel. I stream and record videos ultimately just on YouTube socialize and make friends that don't have any goals for my channel per se. Oh, cool. Um, best friend here, Trevor, we'll have, to, we'll have to find a way to collab. You've been quite active. and I, I recognize your name and I've given you a wrench. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking, let's big picture here. So this is all of the stuff I have. And so you'll notice these little pieces right in here um, that is, I put all of those in there. So that right there is literally that little timestamp right there. So because of that timestamp, that helps me figure out which ones are which. And I can mostly just tell, um, I can mostly just tell which ones are which based on my landing. So like this one was one of my better ones. So I'll just play it. So this was in slow-mo, I think. Here we go, iMovie. Play. Come on. But yeah, this one was in slow motion, and you'll notice like I stumble forward a bit, but I don't touch it. And I can also tell based on she definitely rotates me a little bit on this one. So that's how I can kind of tell the difference between them is the timestamps, my landing, and how much she actually helps me. Towards the end, she's barely helping me at all. Um, so I got 33 minutes. I want to cut it down to less than 10. Um, there's some like, there's some front end like story to it a little bit. Like at the very beginning of the whole thing, I'm literally on the phone with my sister-in-law saying like, hey, I want to put together, I want to find a coach. And then here, this is me trying to call up a number for a gym that she referred me to. They said wrong number. And then this is the text that I sent to the guy. He responded back to me and gave me um, Brogan's number, which I got to do a better job blurring out clearly. Um, and so then this is me calling Brogan for the first time. And this is the, the coach that I worked with mostly. And this, I just, I really was like enli enlivened by this conversation that I had with her. So I decided to record the whole thing. And I'm, I've tried to cut it up so it's not boring to people, but still takes up quite a bit of time. And this is me walking around talking to her. It can hear some of the conversation. And this is me just getting totally amped up about it. And then let's see. From there, she gave me a couple exercises to work on. And so I'm in my in law my in law's house working on the exercises. And then doing a couple of exercises again. And again, this takes up a bunch of time, like 45 seconds here. That's a lot when you're trying to go for a 10 minute video. And then this is me complaining about it. And then this is me telling Alyssa, I'm going to do my first backflip today. So I thought this would be kind of fun. Do a couple seconds of me stepping out the door, like jump into my car, driving. Um, and I just talked to the camera a little bit on the way. I'm a little nervous here. This is a whole minute. I got to cut that back. Um, then this is, I just did like a couple, one or two second clips here. This is my drive there. And then this is my first session. So I actually worked with a different guy for my first session. And we did a bunch of stuff on the trampoline and then we stretched 
and then he showed me a couple of these exercises and I it's just me rolling backwards and we are now nine minutes in and then we keep evolving evolving and then eventually he brings me to the trampoline I'm doing similar exercises and then he has me like literally trying to like jump up let's see Oh, these are the ones where I land on my butt and he has me tumble backwards and into a backflip. And then that's me talking with him. And then that's, I wipe out a couple, couple times here. Oh, I got to come back over the chat. Um, uh, talk chat, live chat. Okay, tweeting the tweet. Thank you. Thank you, best friend. Your thread. Best friend, your thread. What's your name? So I, so I can say less syllables when I'm referring to you. Everyone, best friend, when when she's at work. Oh, I didn't. I also did not know as a, a female. Did Clifford agree to collab? Hell yeah! Hey, Alex. Um, I was actually gonna d DM you on Instagram. Uh, eight o'clock tomorrow. It's gonna be me, Cliff, and Ty speaks. We're gonna be talking to him about MMA, YouTube, um, inspiring others, etc. So yes, Clifford. Uh, Clifford. Interview collab on Google Hangouts is on for eight o'clock tomorrow Eastern. Um, true, don't tell my boss. Hey, Gemma Grace, um, I can't stay for long, but thought I, I can't stay for long, but I thought I'd pop in. Libby, every time I read your your uh, chats now, I have to say it sort of in your voice so that I can really feel it because I realize I've been reading everything you write in an American accent, and it just doesn't. Do it doesn't do you justice when I when I think of what you're saying in in an American accent. I'm always great tool for writing, especially day in the life log. How are you show How are you showing your screen though? So on Google Hangouts, and it's a little complicated because of what my setup here. So if you'll see all these tabs here, um, I think this is the one. Nope, I can X out of that. This one. All right, so this right here is the Google Hangout actual screen. And over here, there's this button screen share. If you click screen share, um, and then it'll ask like uh, accept or decline. Um, that's what I'm in right now, and that's why you can see it. And I learned that from Pooja Studios, which they were doing. Let's see, hey dude, Zach, Ho, Jim, Grace, how are you doing today, Stephanie? Oh, Stephanie, good. Um, Zach, dude, how are you? Gemma Grace, I'm working on this vlog. So one of the, one of my philosophies is, as some of you may know from my book is I feel as though a finished project is better than a perfect project. So I've been realizing that this whole backflip vlog thing has been a problem because it has not been a finished project. It's just been a, a project that I've been working on. And it's just, it's taken forever. It's been over a month now that this has been sitting in my, in my um, iMovie, like all these clips. So I just want to finish it today. I have the time right now. Our Celtics game doesn't start for a couple hours. And uh, I figured I'd show a couple of you my process. Um, I thought to myself, this could really bore people, but if they like it, who am I to say what's boring? So um, yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. Just go back from a hospital, hospital radio interview. Gemma, tell us about that. Jesse speaks a British accent all the time. She's quite good at it too. Not too bad on the accent. Keep practicing. Nice setup. Thank you, Armani. Um, did you record any interview? I'm a Boston fan. Armani, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the game too. I'm At the same time, I will admit I'm absolutely a bandwagon fan. I've watched none of the Celtics this season, um, but I, I think it will – probably be a pretty epic game. I haven't even realized that Kyrie and I've known Gort, um, Hayward was out all season, but I didn't realize how good we were doing even without Kyrie. So had to watch, I got, I got to watch it tonight. Matt and Chris are going to be watching the Celtics game tonight too. Yeah. Um, so Kathy, I don't know how much you recognize about basketball, but the interesting thing about tonight from, from my perspective is that Kyrie Irving, we, we took from the Cavaliers last season and he's like one of the reasons that the Cavs are really good and have been good besides LeBron. So for him to be on the Celtics and injured in a still 
be at, at three and three in the series is pretty impressive. Um, along with one of our other starters that was injured at the beginning of the season is out. Okay. Off the Celtics game for a second. So yeah, these are, uh, looks like there's going to be a, I think there might just be too much running on this computer that's being slow, but um, what you can see here is that um, I wiped out a bunch of times, not wiped out, but like I just don't land like any of these and I land like on my face. So I thought it was kind of interesting. I'll just spread it out a little. So I jump up. All right, so those are boring. So that's like where I got to get rid of because I'm realizing. Also, another key thing I would say for a lot of you out there, if you use iMovie, learn the keyboard shortcuts. So for example, right here, you could say I want to cut it right here. A lot of people are going to do, I'm, an, I'm on an Apple, and if I do a two-finger click here, I got split clip. Notice it says um, Command B. For everything that I'm splitting, I'm using the Command B buttons, and uh, I use the Command R button quite a bit. Um, I use space bar quite a bit. I'm trying to think. Mm, show clip turn. I don't usually use that one, but those are kind of important. So right here, a lot of people probably still do the the, the two finger click. Me, I select the whole thing, hit Command B, and it's split done. And then because that's still selected most of the time, so I'm gonna do this fast for you. So I'm scrolling through here. All right, yeah, I kind of want that for a second. Maybe I don't. All right, I can already tell because there's two jumps in here, it's too much. I'm not even going into the jump until here. Control B, delete, done. So a lot of people are taking extra time. When you're making a hundred or a thousand little edits like that on a two hour video, you gotta cut down those little pieces into, into half second or one second things instead of three second things. It, it makes editing so much easier when you start learning the keyboard shortcuts. High, high recommendation is when you're recommended. Um, I've gotta go, Zach. Speak on email if catch on live stream soon. Look forward to it, Libby. Hey, gotta run, storm coming, for cool. All right, thank you for coming in, Kathy. I appreciate it. All right, so. Yeah, first 10 minutes is, we're not even, this is still the first lesson. Still first lesson, I'm wearing the orange shirt. We're 11 minutes in, and then eventually, all right, so then this is the end. He shows me a couple things I can work on while I'm, while I'm not in the gym. And then uh, we're up to 11 minutes, still first day. So one of the things I want to point out is if I want to get this under 10, I have a lot of stuff to cut back. So one of my downfalls when I have a ton of footage and I got to drop it down is I got to think to myself, what's important here? What's not important here? Because if I keep going through all my clips and just cutting out little things at a time, I'm not going to get close. So I'm thinking this whole first day, I got to ask myself, how much time do I want to spend doing it? I think... I don't want to spend more than four minutes on this whole section. So what I might say is, first off, I'll look to see, do I have any whole minute long clips that I don't need the whole thing of? Do they actually help tell the story or are they waste of time? How much of it can I tell the story just because it's like me in action in with some video? Um, so what I'm thinking is I, and another thing I use often here, so this is the next day. So right here, if I click just the letter M, it's gonna leave a little marker right here. So I'll use that to mark. I want this right here. I don't want that to be more than four minutes. So I gotta cut cut out a th uh, two thirds of this whole section. So I wanna get this down to four minutes. So I'm gonna break this apart, look to see. All right, so these phone calls, that is maybe half. This has gotta be less than two minutes. That's four minutes, so I gotta cut that in half. So I'm gonna go through the story, listen to it. Here we go, please work. Why you no play? I might have to restart iMovie. 
plugged in. Yeah, there might just be too much running right now. That's one thing I've noticed is if things are going too slow, then I just got to exit out of some stuff. You can hide that. Hey, Melissa. Welcome. These are great questions people should ask themselves during the editing process. Yeah, I, I um, it, there are things that over time, uh, I mean, the <coughs> <coughs> another vlog that I asked a lot of these questions, but I, I answered them differently was um, when we went out west. I had also like, I think six hours of footage. So I just broke it up into five different parts because there's a lot of stuff I don't want to cut out versus this. I'm totally, I, I just want this whole thing to be one thing and I don't want it to be more than 10 minutes. So you also got to think about, uh, I think one thing I'll say since I have had the real, so I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Um, I've been really lucky in my YouTube career so far. A little bit of my analytics. Um, my this this lucky lucky video. I happened to really do well and hit um, hit a wave of um, search search opportunities. So there's this one video that I discovered that it's okay to have 10 minute videos. Everyone had been telling me. You gotta, you gotta cut it down. You gotta cut it down. You gotta cut it down to like three minutes. I'm gonna bring you to my videos, and you guys are gonna see which one of my videos has the most views. I want you to notice at the top there. I'm not gonna go back because it's being slow, but it said 110,000 views on my channel. And as many of you know, the 2080 rule. Oftentimes, 20% of our content makes up 80% of our views. So what you're about to notice is that there's one video just putting the whole team on its back. Most viewed, get ready for this. It's about to say 80,000 right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. 80,000. And I want you to notice this is nine minutes and 53 seconds long. Everything else I had been doing was under five minutes. So what I realized from there was the reason that this actually made it into a lot of suggested videos was the fact that people are watching a lot of it. So if I click on this, I want to show you some analytics from it. And this is why um, I want to show you this because I think this will give you a little bit of an idea. Um, one, why it worked and two, why it's changed the way that I go about editing something that I think has possibilities of going viral. Um, I don't want to go down here. This is like, this is all other stuff that you can do on the side. It doesn't have to do with editing. This was just me getting lucky. I had a, I had a pretty solid looking thumbnail, I think. And, uh, I had a title that didn't lie. And, uh, I don't know. It just struck a chord. Where are the, I want to see the analytics for it. I uh, forget how to go get to there from the screen. I think I might just have to go straight to analytics. <coughs> so I found this really valuable because it's totally changed the way I've gone about making like edited content. Um, normally I make videos that are pretty short in nature and I've started changing the way I go about doing things because of this video. So let's see. Uh, so if you'll notice in the last 28 days, top 10 videos, that one is still been carrying it. I came out with that on February, February 5th, if you'll notice there. And it's had 4,000 minutes of watch time. That's just the last 30 days. And it's had seven, it's, it's crushed all of my other videos, just demolished. And what I want you to notice, so I'm going to click on this. It's going to show you some stats on this. If we go to not watch time, where is it? Audience retention. You're going to get to see where they literally drop off in the video. So this graph is important. So 
What you'll notice is 100% of the people that click start there. After about 40, 47 seconds-ish, I'm down to 40% of my audience. So that means 60% of the people that clicked it originally are gone a minute in. But the beauty is that it doesn't dip below 19, 18. Pretty much the lowest it goes is about 18%. So if you go all the way until the end, even the very end, still 32% hanging in there. So one of the things I realized is if I could have kept their attention a little bit better the first first minute, I think that this would have more views to it. Part of the reason that this made it to the suggested videos is because of the fact that there's this much watch time on it. So if you think about, um, I think it was like the first first couple of days, it made it to like six or 7,000 uh, views. And in that time, like people were hanging in there and they're actually watching all of this. And so I got lucky and people were just interested enough for they're watching the whole thing. And because of that, it was making to suggested. So um, if you watch this one here, which it's kind of just above me in the uh, in the suggested, there are 222,000 views. Um, there was similar thumbnail, I would say. It, and the main difference is um, they were able to keep their, their people's attention for that first minute a lot better. So I really want to try to power pack that first minute, get them interested, start telling a story and entice them. Um, and if I can do that, then I think I can hang on to them a bit longer. Now, this has been the only video that's been quite like this. Um, I've tried to replicate this kind of process, but I think I just got really lucky with the fact that a ton of people were searching things like this, like fan reactions, Patriots reactions. Um, so that I've just gotten lucky and I have not had anything that's, that have hit out of the ballpark like this. So either way, what I've taken away from this whole process is it's okay to have a video that goes 10 minutes long. I think people are more likely to click it if it's, if they don't see a second digit there, I know that's that's true for me. I think it's a psychological thing. Also, I, I noticed that when you go into suggested videos, it doesn't show you how much time there is on these videos. So you might click something in the suggested and realize there's no time there. It doesn't tell you how much time they take. Let's, let me come back to the chat here. I'm sure you guys have said some things. All right, there's some great shortcuts. Sells during the editing process. Tim is sweet spot from what I've heard. I'm so bad. I never look at analytics. Um, what was it? Was it Stephanie? Wait for it. Uh, I forgot your name, dude. Steph. Yes. Um. Yeah. I think I only I only really look at analytics when something's done really well, um, just to see what's been working because. Uh, I want to see if I can figure out if I can replicate something if it's working. Um, otherwise, I don't check my analytics a whole lot if something's not working. Just to be fair, I just do this for Abby. I, I hear you on that. Yeah, I, I eventually want to turn this into something that will give me more options for my career, um, will give me more options with my time. Um, like if I can get to the point where I have the option to teach or not, um, that that's like what I really want. I want to be able to decline. Um, it, I would love to be able to, for them to say to me, like, look, Zach, you got to stop making YouTube videos. And I want to be, have the power to say, you know what? I'm actually, I'd rather make YouTube videos because, um, I get paid the same amount and I get to be more free with it. So it's not, not quite a hot, it's a, technically a hobby, but it's not meant to be that in the long term. Yeah, the first minute is very important. That's how you, you hook your audience. You'll need to pay more attention to that. I never focus on it, but we'll keep that in mind. You're headed the right direction for sure. Thank you, Steph. So what I'm realizing is if I try telling my story here with a phone call, I know I'm going to need a little bit more of a backstory um, or like I'm going to have to find a way to make these phone calls real interesting. Um, but I know I want to start off with, some B-roll of me backflipping um, and or like I just want to definitely start with like a backflip. I'm thinking like ha like 
I was also thinking about this for the beginning and I haven't made it yet because I just want to cut everything down to like eight minutes or so and then make some more content. But if you think about like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, now this is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, tell you how I became the Prince of Bel-Air. Is I wanted to say something similar to that, do my own little rap um, with a with like a picture of me doing a backflip with my face on it, and have it say, um, "Now this is a story all about how I got my back, I got my body flipped right upside down, and I like to and just like take that, make a little remix to it. I think that could be a great way to hook people for the first couple, for the first minute or so. Um, dive into the story." and have have some music in the background kind of conjure up some emotions for people so yeah i don't know why this isn't playing when i hit the space button when i hit this it's just not doing anything i think i gotta close out and come back in let's try that let's try that um yeah sometimes i have these technical difficulties um in the meantime, let me tell you a little. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Get out of here. What's that? Oh, this is Libby's Rose. She she uh, drew this, and part of it was I had, I had invited. Can, hey, can y'all just tell me, isn't this a really nice picture? Libby doesn't think it's that great, but I think it's fantastic. Like, I want her to send this to me in the mail. I want to have this. I'd I'd consider buying it off her. Like or maybe I'll like when I make t-shirts, I'll trade her for it or something. I think it's fantastic. That's some of my geometry stuff. I'm gonna close out of some of these things because it's going real slow. Do you guys have like messy desktops like I do? I don't know if wait. So this is oh so this is from uh, Kathy and Jesse when she came on. This is part of the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail I – oh, so this is how I organize things. So I have all my YouTube stuff in the same thing. When it gets out of control, I start putting it back to where it belongs. A bunch of these are screenshots I use to make one of the – uh, one of our standardized tests MCAS. All right. I think I can open iMovie back up. Wish Libby were on to see that. Melissa. We like. I would love to really have have her understand how good her art is. I don't think she she just doesn't get it. I think half of it she doesn't want the acknowledgement because that would mean she would have to believe in herself, and I think part of it she doesn't want to. And I love her for it. And uh, and I think if she could get past that, that would be a huge breakthrough for her. I'd love to see that happen. All right, let's see if this is working now. Get my chat back on over here. Good. Whoopsies. All right, there we go. All right. So let's go to, to the beginning. All right, so this is my intro. Thank you, Gemma. Um, so I wanted to call because this week I wanted to learn how to do a backflip. So I'm thinking right there. That's a good. That could be a good spot to cut right there, just because it kind of tells that. That's like almost self-explanatory. So I'm on the phone. The call because this week I wanted to learn how to do a backflip. So I'm gonna break it right there, and then let's see if this next part's interesting. And I was. Th Thinking to myself, I wonder if the gym that you go to, if they would be interested in helping me learn how to do it, and or I would show like a five day learning how to do a backflip, and I would be making a video that I don't know if they could put on the website or something. Or all right, something. And if I'm a viewer, I'm wa I'm trying to watch this dude do a backflip and see how he came to it. But all it takes is starting with. A conversation of saying to someone, I want to learn to do backflip this week. I don't know that this is important or anyone cares about that. So and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if the gym that you go to, if they would be interested in helping me learn how to do it. I think right there, that's solid right there. I think this, this whole part's going to be extra. So I'm just going to cut it. 
I think if if I'm gonna get this done today, and I'm gonna get this off my plate, like I just want to be done with it. I think I need to make like hard decisions like that and not try to hold on to stuff. If it tells the story, it tells the story. Um, like I just got to be cutthroat with this, or else I'm never gonna get it done. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I probably don't need anything cushy as long as I have one or two people spotting me. Of all the trainers or personnel there, who do you think would be the best? To all right, I think those two are solid um, just because a lot of people are probably thinking to themselves, all right, I, I bet there's going to be a lot of people that are interested in seeing how other people do, do backflips. Like when I was looking it up, I was looking for other other people that had videos of how they did it. And a lot of people like started off with a little mattress in their backyard and just started doing it. And um like right there, I'm addressing that same concern a lot of other people have. Um, this part right here, I'm addressing the concern a lot of people are probably having. I'm going to adjust the light on these. Um, I think a lot of people might even get stuck with just the idea of um, like they might not feel like talking to someone on the phone is going to like they might forget that's all it takes to start. So I want to include that. I think this is good. I think this is good. Six, eight. It's a little long. Maybe I'll cut it later, but this is kind of funny. Uh, I'm looking for the uh, manager at the gym here. Uh, Whoopsies. So that was a true story. I called the number that was on the Instagram page, and they said I had the wrong number. The gym here. 1.5 seconds. It matters. Uh, you have the wrong number. Whoopsies. Called more people. All right, so this right here was almost a little too short, but I need to do a better job, uh, like actually blurring out that number. I realized it's people could definitely take the number off there, so I'll fix that later. But I thought just this texting conversation was was part of the story. But then this is me calling my coach Brogan. Hi, uh, is this Brogan? I was referred to you by uh, Joe, the owner of the gym. So I'm thinking ahead of time. I know this conversation goes kind of long, so I just want to take. I want to. I'm trying to think about if I'm watching this video. Um, what would be valuable for me to hear, or what would be funny or entertaining to hear as part of this? And I'm thinking, like, just having someone excited on the other end of the phone. I think people would be exciting. Uh, people get excited about the idea that maybe there is someone out there that would be excited about helping me learn to do a backflip. Um, whoa. Um, let me zoom in. It looks like filming tomorrow. Speaking about you earlier. Thank you, Gemma. Best right. agreed, Zach. I'm filming about autism in Seven Senses tomorrow. I'm going live shortly. Glad to hear it. I've I had an amazing experience today. I went out and had some energy healing done with Shungite. I was Shungite. I was very skeptic, but I can confirm it was powerful. Have you ever had Reiki? I've I've never had either of those two. I've seen Reiki done. Um, I have not actually had someone do it for me before. This is great. I'm sorry. I have to run about to sit down for dinner. I had got a lot from this stream in a short time. Right on. Thank you, Steph. I, I didn't think it was actually gonna gonna bring that much value to people, but thank you for the the appreciation because this gives me a uh, hope that I'll probably do it again in the future. How many people are on right now? How do I see that? Uh, I guess I go a little lower. Where are we at? Three people watch. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what in the story is actually valuable to tell here. Right now, that I couldn't learn how to do a backflip. Hard to Hi, uh, is this Brogan? I was referred to you by uh, Joe, the owner of the gym. Uh, I'm a teacher, and I made a bet with some students over uh, April break, which I'm on right now, that I couldn't learn how to. You know what I'm thinking to myself right here? This whole thing. I might not even need this first part. I think it's funny to me, but like if I uh, if I started with like 
I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to get rid of that part because it's important to me. But I think that if I were just, I think that in about 20 seconds, let's see. So up to here, we're up to 53 seconds. I think in about 15 seconds, I could tell this story. Like I could show me on the phone, show me on the phone, show me on the phone with B-roll, but have me talk over it and say, this is the story. I started by calling my sister-in-law and she sent me to the gym, got called the wrong number. And then I'll say, you've got called the wrong number. And I'll say, whoopsie. And then we'll go to the next part. And I'll actually, and then I actually talk to my, my first backflip coach. And then I'll start here. I was referred to you by uh, Joe, the owner of the gym. I'm a teacher and I made a bet with some students over uh, April break, which I'm on right now that I couldn't learn how to do a backflip. I was told that you might be someone that could help me learn how to do that. Could I schedule to do something with you this week? And I think right there, I might actually be able to cut it. So what's your availability like with your schedule? You said you're a teacher. Can you do like Friday, like late morning by any chance? I think I can cut this out. That's the scheduling doesn't really matter to a watcher. Okay. I have no problem actually traveling because I, I want to, I really want to win this bet and I probably gave myself too small of a time frame to get it done. About nine days from today. I was asking. That's kind of interesting. Um, maybe I can shorten it a little bit here. Traveling because I, I want to, I really want to win this bet, and I probably gave myself. I think if I just cut that there. I really want to win this. Get rid of that six. I really want to win this bet, and I probably gave myself too small of a time frame to get it done. How long do you have? About nine days from today. I was asking somebody about their goals, and they're trying to do. Um, she was an ice skater, and she wanted to do. Uh, I forget what it's called, like a hitch or something, but she's trying to do like a one half spin. And I said, I'll make a, I'll make a bet with you because her one of her fears was that she just would never do it. Hey friends, my uh, my friend Zach's calling me. I'm gonna answer him. Actually, I'm gonna throw him on speakerphone for the hell of it. Hey Zach. Okay, thank you. Hey Watson. Are uh, I I think I just saw part of your text there. Are you you headed back home? So if you want to watch Celtics game, oh hell yeah! Um, when when should I head over? Um, I mean, how long does it take you to get there? I don't know, like tw uh, thirty minutes, I think. Are you at your parents' house? No, I'm I'm in Marlboro. You're like thirty minutes away. Yeah. No, it's, it's not that bad. Get here around like 7.38, somewhere in that time frame. All right, sounds good. Shall I bring anything? Right. No, you're fine. All right. I'll All look right, forward to it. <laughs> Bye, Zach. Come All right, see you, Watson. See ya. Thanks. Oh, boy, I, got, I get to hang out with Big Zach tonight. All right, so seven or eight. That means I'll probably I'll probably be on here for another hour. All right, coming back. Hold up, hold up. Nope, I don't want that. Mm, how do I mute this? Thank you for being patient. All right, I'm uh, I'm putting my phone onto live stream too, so I can just see how many people watching, so I don't have to keep moving around. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, this whole part here, what's the quickest way to tell this part of the story? So I really want to win this bet and I probably gave myself too small of a time frame to So I think it might be a little bit shocking for someone to be watching and being like, oh, he set a bet for nine days to do this. That's kind of interesting. So I think I want to leave that in there. But at the same time, it might also be useful to say that in the beginning part. So if I was gonna just talk over this part with me on the phone, that I could probably include in there. So I'm gonna leave that in there for now and 
I'm going to continue saying to myself, okay, I want to cut this down to about four minutes. How long do you have? About nine days from today. I was asking somebody about their goals. So this right here is the story of literally how the bet came to exist. So that's 42 seconds long. I think I could, again, take that down. So I'm not going to worry about that so much. Well, I'm excited to work with you. That'd be awesome. Yeah. What would you recommend I... Is there anything I can do to prep in the next like two or three days besides not hurting myself? So I think also right there, um, I could probably just cut straight to some of the exercises I end up doing. So this is the rest of my phone conversation, which I, I had fun having with her, um, but it might not be that interesting to a viewer, but let's double check. So if you'll notice here, one thing that I think a lot of people don't – oh, thanks for letting me know, Gemma. I'll probably come on in a little bit. Um, I might just leave it on to give you some watch time, but I might not actually watch it just because I do want to I want to create this. Um, also, I'm not sure who the other people are on. Is it, I don't think any – is no one watching? I, I can't tell. It would appear that I'm the only one watching. That's fine. Um, feel free to jump over to her, her channel. Let's see. So right here, yeah, right here, you'll see it's at 71%. Here, it's at 4,400%. The reason I did that is because I think a lot of people don't realize the impact that it can have on someone watching when all of a sudden there's a giant volume change. So if you're, your volume changes very rapidly, I recommend taking down the volume on that. Next. Let's get it. Now we get it on schedule. Now I'm going to watch these videos and uh, I'll probably do some box jumps or something today or tomorrow to get my vertical even more up and uh, yeah, just try to not hurt myself. Hmm. I'm pumped. I don't think I've ever had someone that's trained and done it before that have actually worked with. I've just done like all like. I don't know, like I've worked with my friend Nelly, but I just told him we we're going to learn how to backflip one day. He got it, and I didn't because he was a little... All right, something. This is irrelevant to the story. I think right up to there is good. Like when I say, all right, it's scheduled, it's done. Now I just got to practice. And then I'll cut this all out, and I'll cut over to this part where I'm actually practicing. But I'm going to have this as B-roll. So B-roll is where you have the video going, um, and you're just talking in the background. So I'm going to show some of this. So if you'll notice, I have two camera angles. I thought this was funny because the cat walked in front just to give them a sense of like, this is my living room. Like, this is what's going on. Um, but yeah, instead of, and I don't need this whole thing. This is 45 seconds. It's stupid. So what I'm going to do over this, I'm going to mute this whole thing. And with iMovie, kind of a cool thing you can do is Say right here, I just want to cut out the volume and I want to speak over it. This right here, record voiceover, I can literally record over this whole thing if I want to. I'm not going to do it at the moment, but all the way up through here. And I think, yeah, this is literally, I think I did a time lapse. Yeah. So this is a time lapse right here. Oh That's my goodness. six seconds, and then this is when I got a headache. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a super headache right now just from doing those. So I think that's actually kind of funny, and I'll keep that. But yeah, I'm going to have this as B-roll. I'm going to talk over it. I don't need 45 seconds of it, so this would be a good moment for me to cut some things out. So I'm going to come back over here. Let's get it. Now we get it on schedule. Now I'm going to watch these videos and uh, I'll probably do some box jumps or something today or tomorrow to get my vertical even more up and uh, yeah, just try to not hurt myself. That's a little bit extra. All right, cool. I'm taking it. I think Wait. I'll send you videos or stuff that might help you. I think you're going to get this in no time. I'm going to be feeling about it. Sweet. All right, cool. I'm taking it. All right, so let's aim for Friday and uh, we'll pack the information, okay? Yep, thank you. 
So I'm just going to keep that part, cut this. We're going to go straight to the storytelling part after that. <laughs> Actually, we'll keep that. It's kind of funny because it's authentic. I think uh, whenever you have a chance to show authenticity, I think that's valuable in itself because if you have those moments where like, like you're like, this doesn't look good. This right here is very... Like it's a very genuine joy that I'm experiencing right there. And I think when it doesn't look good and when it's genuine joy, like if any of you have ever seen, I forget her name, but she did the Chewbacca. Um, she had a viral video, it had a, like a couple million views on YouTube and Facebook, I think it was. And she's just enjoying her Chewbacca mask. She like puts it on and it starts like doing the, Chewbacca noises. She's so like joyfully overwhelmed by it that she just laughs her face off. And I think things like this are valuable. Um, and so I'm going to keep that. And I think, so this is 58 seconds long. Guaranteed I'm not going to need this whole thing. Um, I think this was just me complaining about the fact that I was an idiot and waited too long to get any of my, my practices in. So in terms of teaching myself to backflip slash getting the training I need to do this. I've been procrastinating all day. It's Thursday. It's like 10 o'clock. No, shoot. It's 11 o'clock. And uh, I'm just starting to uh, do some of these exercises, but I'm thinking I, I know I want to do it before I go to sleep because uh, I'll take you on a second, DJ. Take it easy. So uh, one of the reasons I really want to do this before I go to bed is I know that muscle memory uh, is stored when you go to sleep. We get it. So I'm trying to do some of these before I go to bed so that when I get a nice good rest in sleep, which he probably won't let me have tonight, um, I'll be a little bit better for tomorrow. So yeah, this is just a bunch of extra information that does not – well – I mean, it could be valuable, but I think it would be better for me to shorten this and talk about it just over the actual exercise part. So it, uh, I'm trying to think. So one of the reasons I'm considering not deleting it right now is just because I want to remember, I feel like part of this is valuable. If someone were, if someone were trying to learn how to backflip and they're viewing this and trying trying to get something out of it. Um, you know what? I don't even know if it worked. So I think just the procrastination part is kind of good part of the story. I've been procrastinating all day. It's Thursday. It's like 10 o'clock. No, shoot. It's 11 o'clock. And uh, I'm just starting to, to uh, do some of these. Ex I'm just going to say just starting. I'm just starting. I'm just going to cut that out. I think this part right here is kind of good. Again, B-roll, I'm going to talk over that part. This is the quick. This is the next morning. Um, one thing I will want to do that adds to the story, I would say. So if you're in the iMovie, one of the titles that I think gives it some authenticity, um, because it gives the exact time, is if anything, pretty much anything that you put on um, into iMovie has a timestamp on it. So if you go to titles, so my media is where you sort of import things. Um, but if you go to titles, if I go down to date time, I'm going to put that right in here. I can just drag it over. And so as it goes through, deemed titles cannot be adjusted. It's fine. So what you'll notice is as it comes through, let's say date and time. Honey. All right, so it says 11.34 a.m. And I think that's kind of good because – it shows exactly what the date, what the time was, and it's like it's very, very raw. It's authentic, and I think it, it does a good job telling part of the story. I'm going to do my first backflip today. Love you. <laughs> Love you. See you in a couple hours. Let's get it. So far, my only concern is that I don't quite have the right things in my stomach. I wish I had eaten a little earlier today. Um, 
that I think is more valuable for afterwards because people can see that afterwards and be like, oh yeah, maybe I should prep a little bit by eating something before I go to do some kind of exercise like this. Like I didn't eat like anything that morning. I think I had a banana maybe. Um, as you can, so I wanted to cut this whole thing down to like four minutes. So this one minute thing, this might be a good thing that I might be able to cut down really short um, in B roll and have like this is like my journey um, to the place, and I might be able to tell a story over these clips. So it's, I'm trying to remember what I what I say here. It might not even be worth it. So I'll be honest. Past couple of days, I've really not wanted to do this. I haven't wanted to do the training. There's a lot of things I've not wanted to do, and this is the value of betting and challenging people. A lot of people don't share their goals with others. I decided to double down and bet people on it. And I think the value of that is you have an added piece of motivation when you really don't feel like doing things. But if you put it in the hands of someone else and you can think of that punishment, so I have to buy them their iced coffees next. So I think this actually is kind of valuable because it's really true to my channel. Um, one of the things is, as you guys know, is that my channel is really meant to inspire others to accomplish and be motivated and deal with their humanness. So this is really accomplishing that, I think. So I want to keep this message in here. But what I can do is I can take some of these clips that have no real content to them verbally um, that I would probably just put music over it. And I'm going to put that on top of these. So you can watch that. And uh, as, as I'm talking, like I could even put on a little music in the background, but I'm just going to put all these on top of it. See if I can maybe shorten it because I think it's good. If I were to do these as B roll and have me talk right now, it's not going to come out the same way that it came out in that car ride. So I'm going to keep those. I'm spreading them out a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping them spread out or not. This could be a poor use of time right now. But again, I definitely want to keep the message in there. I would like to shorten it. I'll probably go through with a little bit finer tooth comb and try to take some things out. But this is helping me cut it back a little bit. This is me walking in um, 14 seconds. This is the first moment when I like find my, my new trainer and stuff. So I can select all these. I'm going to slide it, slide it over a little bit. So let's see where to start talking. Hi. All right, so I'm going to turn up the volume on that because it's kind of hard to hear. B, so that right here. You know what? I think that uh, if I were to just have this on the end of it, there we go. And maybe if I just slid everything over here. Um, I mean, that, that right there, that took off six. If you add up all these clips, that's how much time I've just taken off by putting this on top of the talking. One of the things you'll realize is that as you do more and more editing, you'll realize that if you're doing a lot of talking into a camera, um, it, I think it really adds to the story if you're trying to tell a story. If you have um, the talking over like real life things happening versus me just talking is not action. This right here is action, walking into the gym. This right here, um, approaching the door, that's action. Um, approaching, yeah, like getting out of the car, going to the door. Um, finding the, the facility for the first time. Um, like rolling up on the facility, coming down the highway. Uh, like about to get on, I'm on the highway itself, getting off on an exit, getting off on an exit. Like that's all real life action as I know it's not real action, the sense of action, but it's like, that's real life. Um, oh, shoot. I just realized I haven't checked into the chat at all. I missed the start, but it looks like a great editing session. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Rob, just a little bit about what's going on is uh, this right here is a vlog that I've been wanting to do for about a month now that I've uh, I've just been trying to be too much of a perfectionist about. I wanted to cross off doing a backflip off my bucket list. And so I'm working right now on actually making that happen. I'm trying to cut down the whole thing from this 31 minutes down to about 10 minutes. And um, I wanted to 
just share with people a little bit about how I go through my process of editing. And I think it also helps me a lot just by saying this out loud, um, thinking about why I'm cutting things out and why I'm doing things. And I'm just trying to point out how I'm trying to tell a story versus what's valuable and what's not and why I'm choosing to cut things out. Um, let me know if you're finding any value out of this because I don't know if I'll ever do this again. One person said that they, they got some value out of it. So let me know if you learn anything or if you have any questions along the way. Uh, I'll keep this chat open so I'll, I'll be able to see your comments better. So yeah, this is me coming to the gym. Um, I'm thinking this is wasted space. So again, I want to cut this down like this whole first part should be like four minutes. So 20 seconds for the intro to coming to that gym. I think it's good meeting the guy. Hi. So this is, the, I, I came in the wrong side. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, it happens all the time. I'm Doug. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Sorry, I'm with some, uh, a little bit of warm-up. A little bit of American. I'll talk a little bit about it. You're a math teacher, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. There's a little bit of physics. Sweet. We don't have to do any calculating or anything, but if you yeah. have basic understanding of motion, you're Okay. Sweet. So bouncy. Oh, yeah. This would be better as B-roll and me talking over it or just having music. Um, I think any of these things I could probably do without and just have music playing over it. So I want to zoom out. I want to think about how much time I want to take up for this. A lot of young careers that could use a real time tutorial. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I, I um, feel f if you know anyone that might find value of this, I'll probably be talking about this for maybe the next hour, maybe till like seven o'clock. So, um, yeah, if you know anyone that might find value of it, feel free to share this with them. And or um, if anyone might want to join the, so this is a Google Hangout that I'm doing a screen share for. If anyone would want to ask me questions like verbally at the same time, uh, you or, or anyone else, uh, I could have them join as well. All right, so yeah, I'm thinking this whole thing, let's see, I even, you can see a little bunny rabbit. So for iMovie, that bunny rabbit means that it's sped up. So even if you heard our voices, it would be all like high pitched. All right, you can't even hear it because I've sped it up so much. All right, so these I'm realizing, um, one, it's quiet just because I can see that little part right there is low and small. Um, and I think these might be kind of fun to watch, but I don't need, I don't need a whole lot of minutes of it. So let's see. I'm thinking from here, no. From 553 all the way to, see, I'm looking for where the second session starts versus the first session. 553 all the way to 928. I want to cut that down to maybe a minute and a half or so. So I want this to be down to like six and a half. So I just want to cut this up into uh, smaller parts. These are a bunch of two, three, four second clips. And I want to show the evolution of what he was showing me and how I learned. And again, there doesn't need to be any words over this. This is probably just going to be all music, which I haven't chosen yet. I have an idea. I want it to be sort of a, an electronic, like an EDM type song that's kind of inspirational, upbeat. Um, and uh, I think it'll be good to see him do it, me do it. Him do it, me do it, me do it, me do it. Um, but I can I can cut these down to like half second, or I can speed them up. Like this is five seconds. I don't need the whole thing. So let's try cutting it up. up. So like that ending there. I think just that right there. And again, I'm gonna be using. You won't be able. To, normally, you could use the two finger click, and uh, let's see, like do a split clip. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm actually using Command B on my Mac right now. So instead of split clip, I'm literally using this command stroke. Hey, thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. All right, so let's see. Yeah, he rolls back. Good. I roll back. You're looking awkward. Good. A little bit extra off the end there. Done. All right, now he's showing me that. I think either I can, I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that and I'm gonna speed it up if I control R. And then this little thing I can slide and it'll make it shorter. 
Now it's half the time. All right, same thing. This is long. I'm going to cut that down by speeding it up because of the content's good there. Um, it just doesn't have to go that slow. Too slow already. I don't need the first. I don't need that. All right, that's extra at the end there. I don't need that little hop up. Going back, that was good. Don't need to hop up at the end. All right, now he's showing me how to jump and roll back. I jump, roll back. Good, don't need to hop at the end. Just trying to show the evolution of what he's doing. All right, that one's a little goofy looking. Again, don't need to hop at the end. Taking off a second at a time. I know it's tedious, but I think it it's it can be really useful. All right now, he shows how nice that looks, and then we're gonna see me do it nice and awkward. Uh, not too bad. Okay, good. So it's again. All right, I think the hop was the right the right amount at the end there. Exercise. I think at just the beginning there is a little bit much. And cut off that point two at the end. All right, now this trampoline time. There's a lot of stuff here. So we're at 7.09 and it's going to go all the way till that's a whole two minutes. I want to cut that down to at least one minute. So I'm going to cut this in half right now. Already too much. All right, so I just need the part where he shows me down like that. Cut. Back for it. Good. All right, that one right there. Done. Fail. Let's show a little bit less of that failed. Just that's good right there. Yeah, good. Goofy. Good storytelling. Too much. Cut. Still too much. Cut. Goofy. Funny. Good, he's, he's teaching me a little bit. That's worth the three seconds, I think. And, and again, all this is gonna be over music, so I think it'll be pretty good right there. Good. Goofy, good. He's showing me how to do it. He looks good doing it. I look all right doing it. All right, too much jumping already. So this is the first two I can get rid of. And show the curl in there. That's good. Hey, thank you again, Rob. Looking forward to seeing you finish vlog. Have a great evening. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate it. Woo! All right, that's a fail. So it's good. All right, so again, he's showing you that. Show me to roll back. Comes out all right. Comes out all right. Better. All right, now I'm showing me failing at the actual flip. I don't need that part at the end there, though. I just need to show that so I can cut that off. Good. It's a fail, it's authentic. I don't need the whole beginning of that. That's awkward. It's good. Talking. I'm not going to need talking, but I think it's interesting just showing that I'm like pausing to reflect and get coached. 
I think I can cut that whole thing out. Fail. Too much jumping already. Fail was a good one. Fail, good. A little too much, at, uh, a little bit much at the beginning. For that second, good there. Too much. Hey, pretty good. We're starting to see the evolution of the learning that's happening. Too much. We can cut it there. Not great, but still evolving. <laughs> Big fail on that one. Good to watch. And again, you, for it to be entertaining, I don't think you need the whole thing. Good. That one's a little awkward, but it's, again, authentic. Too much jumping. Awkward, good. I think he's a little extra to him there. You see my head jerk. Good. And show a little bit less of that beginning part there. Awkward, good. Again, the storytelling part of this is you want to show some of that awkward parts of it because I think it makes it interesting. And you get to see – when you can really see the evolution of something, I think it's valuable. A little too much jumping at the beginning. Cut that off. Awkward, but I'm able to come up. And then – all right, let's see. How long are these? So 8.16 – all the way to 8.30, it's 15 seconds that I don't, I didn't end up doing those, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I'll be honest, I am not feeling very good right now. I got a stomach ache. I feel like I... So we're back to the storytelling part of it where I'm sharing a little bit about my journey, um, sort of emotionally, sort of physically. This is good, um, and it shows exactly what time it is. I think I'm also, I want to have the same thing. So if I hit, so for this title here, again, that title is represented with that. If I hit control C, I come over here. I'm pretty sure this is the next day. If I hit control V, it'll actually give me a clip of this day. So it won't be the same date. So this is 20th, 22nd. So two days later at 10 a.m. I got a stomach ache. I feel like I could probably puke. So it is 10 a.m. I am rolling out of my uh, out of the parking lot, of my house, and uh, getting ready for. It. Now I want to pause this. Now there's this is a whole minute, so I'm seeing to myself. There's definitely some things I can cut out of this. So what I'm looking for right now is what is valuable to the story, what's not valuable to the story. Also, for the person watching, who I'm, I'm not sure who it is right now. Just let me know it's raining out outside, and I like keeping the window open. But if the noise gets too much, I have no problem closing the window. Um, let me know if, if it's hard to hear me talk. Be a bit more hydrated. Record any of like, the beginning there. Cause, uh, out of the parking lot of my house. And uh, getting ready for our second lesson. So I didn't record any of like, the beginning there because I was sort of rushing. Set my alarm clock for an hour ago. Um, I just thought I don't want to make the mistake of last time feel lightheaded at the end. So I just tried to chug down some water, some plenty of hydrated. I was drinking water last night, and uh, I'm hoping I'll be a bit more hydrated so that my head will feel a little bit better on the trampolines and the jumping and the jarring. Um, and I decided instead of having, I think I had a clementine or two last time, this time I had two pieces of toast. I just feel like having a little bit more in there than just water is going to be good for me. So so the value of this, if I were to keep it, is really to teach somebody um, that might be going through their first session of backflipping, like how they might want to consider prepping their stomach. Because I know um, prepping my stomach was not something I had thought of ahead of time. So I'm not sure how I want to cut that down. I think it's pretty authentic how I'm talking about it there. 
and I don't have any good B-roll to put over it. So for now, I'm just going to leave it. I don't know how I – maybe let's – check. so I don't know that I actually say this, but a little sneak peek to the one person that's probably ever going to see this. I'm actually sitting on the toilet here, and uh, my body's just like acting a fool. Like it does not want to go out there and practice backflips. This is one of those moments where your body's nervous, but your brain is excited. And your body's trying to tell you something bad's about to happen, but you just got to trust your brain over your body sometimes. My top position, core maintains nice and tight, up on my toes. And when I dig down into the heels for a moment here, I'm pushing right off the ball of my foot. Right around. So again, it's like the landing itself is going to be nice. All right, so we're getting to the point. Yes. Whoops. So we're getting to – this is the second session. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this part here or not or not. Uh, I'm thinking I probably I, – I really like the sentiment of it, but at the same time, it's more educational for someone that's trying to learn how to backflip, um, but it's just long. Like you'll be better as like a 10-second thing. Um I might just try to recreate it and accomplish the same thing out of, out of 10 seconds instead of a minute. I'm going to go back and do that later because that will require a little bit more um, thinking. And I'm just – I don't want to do any recording right now. I just want to do editing and cutting. So I think, again, this is also valuable. I kind of want to keep this. So this right here is the part of my store where I'm going into the foam pit trying to get rid of the fear. I think uh, – a lot of this is going to be almost more value. It will probably be much more valuable as B-roll with some music. So it's just video that's happening and you got video going on in the background rather than the actual information that's happening. So I'm going to check in. Let's see. So right here, it's at 941. I'm thinking I want this whole session to be less than two minutes. So I got to figure out how much I need to cut out. Um, oh, this was the next day. So let's see. 23rd. All right. So 15 minutes and it starts at about nine. So I got to cut out like three minutes worth of this. So probably because there's some good footage, I'm more likely going to be cut. I'm going to be using for my iMovie editors out there like this right here. Let's watch for a second. Yes. So she likes what I did there. It is very frightening. But this one, I'm more likely to speed up because I think it's kind of fun. I imagine it'd be fun to watch me just struggle getting out of the foam pit. That part is a little bit wasted right there because it's just looking up. But what I can do with this, so let's see. The point at which it's boring, it's right there. So I'm going to hit B. So what I, again when you hit uh, split clip, what I just did was control B to cut that right there. And it's much quicker than doing a right click. But yeah, let's see right there. Can't see me, can't see me. I'm cutting all that out, gone. All right, that's good. So again, I'm, I'm looking to see what's boring, what's entertaining, um, what's gonna hold my audience's attention. Um, if it's not, um, I wanna cut it. If if I think it's good, but it just takes a long time, I'm gonna speed it up. So this is 10 seconds. Let's see if it's worth. Yes. I think this would be better. It is very frightening, but that was a really, really good launch. That was a good set. That right there, I actually might wanna keep that, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Um, Blake, I'm not sure when this will be done. Ideally, I'd like to finish it today, um, given the speed that I'm going at. I don't think I'm going to finish it today. I think it'll be a little bit longer, maybe a couple of days. Um, but I'm probably going to work on it tomorrow since I have the day off tomorrow. But, yeah, I, I don't know yet. So let's see. This is five seconds. That one, that one, ex um, still maintaining that. All right, so right here, you can't see anything not valuable. Mm, kind of funny me crawling out of the pit, though. Um, the, the informational part of these with the, with the verbal, not that valuable. This is kind of funny to me climbing out of the pit. What's she saying? Hi. 
Told you it's a workout getting out. It's no joke. Here you go. When was it laden tomorrow for M day? Would I, dude? I do not know what you're trying to say right there. What does that mean right there? <laughs> Boring, done. Nice. Wow, that was a good one. That was perfect. All right, so again, that's probably more valuable. All right, we're going to start applying the talk. I think you're good to go. <laughs> Take a breather. So it's just me getting stuck in the pit. And again, th notice this is 2.3 minutes long. That's a lot of time. So. Nice. Wow, that was, that was a good one. That was perfect. I think it'll be good up until. All right, we're going to start applying the talk. I think you're good to go. <laughs> Take a breather. Oh, what am I doing for tomorrow for Memorial Day? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any plans besides not being at school. I'll probably do some grading, some editing, maybe some live streaming. All right, so I'm clearly stuck here. And then she comes over to help me. I think this would be a good place to speed it up. So right there, what we're going to do is we're going to control R. That 19 seconds, we're going to cut it down to like 10, 8, 7 seconds. Now, if you notice, if you can hear like little mouse voices, I'm just going to cut that out. So it's going to be over music. I don't know. It's kind of boring. I don't know if I'd want to watch that. I'm glad to hear, Blake, that you're going to yeah. kick out. I'm going to try and reach around. So let me show you how to first. Perfect. So. Right. Yeah. This is kind um, of. Boring. That little part right there might be valuable sped up. Like really, really short, like two seconds, three seconds. All right, so we're throwing a bunch of stuff. Good. All right, this yeah, whole part really we can cut out, though. So let's take a look. No jumping. We're just tossing those. Tossing those. All right, now she. All right, it's so right up until they're useless. Cut. All right, so then she's going to jump in, I think, here. Oh, she actually, I think she actually flips here. Um, if I do a live stream after, will you watch it? Blake, what do you want to do a live stream on? Because the last one I found was an extreme waste of my time, and I'm not interested in wasting my time when I don't have a ton of it. So what are you going to be live streaming about? If you're talking about breaking your GoPro and then you talk about it for 30 seconds and waste my other seven minutes, then I don't want to watch it. All right, so that's valuable there. Now, Blake, what I want you to notice here is I care about wasting the time of my viewers. If you'll hear me listening here, I'm considering things is interesting. What of this is not interesting? I'm trying to cut out anything that's not interesting because if I have people watching all 10 minutes of this, they, I want them to be entertained the whole damn time. I don't want them slowed down thinking. Now, live stream is a different story than when you're editing things, but even when you're live streaming, like at no point here am I doing something and not talking about it. Everything on here is purposeful. All right, it's good. So I think that right there is probably good. Let's, what does she do? Here? I think her uh, talking is specific. probably not going to be valuable to the viewer. You're not going to be afraid of because you've already okay. pressed all about six sacks. <laughs> You're good. So she pretty much just tells me I don't need to be doing any more. I don't need to be doing any more of that. So I can just cut that out. So I think one or two of these are slow mode down. Even that I don't really need right there. Well, extension there at the beginning, so it slowed you down. All right, so I can get rid of all the way up until there. Gone. 
how many days in my app for a daily login? I don't know what you're trying to ask me, Blake. Well, extension there at the beginning, so it slowed you down. So I only need the jump and the landing, don't need the rest of it. Get rid of that. Cut, 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 cut. I want to go right up until the jump. Yep. Cut. Yeah, that was so awesome. I, I love a reaction. I feel like that could be entertaining, but it might be more valuable to me than it is an actual viewer. How many date? I mean, dude, you've been live streaming. That's not vlogging. Live streaming does not equal vlogging. Blake, I mean, are you a vlogger or are you just a live streamer? Like, I just, I'm, I'm just trying to get you to make quality stuff that people want to watch. And what I've seen so far, I've literally not watched the past two days because you, I wasted six and a half out of the seven minutes watching your video. It was you spinning it around in a chair and then you talked about breaking your GoPro and then you booted up your computer to play Fortnite, and then you left the room to go get pizza, and then you said, and you told us to wait, so I did wait, and then you came back with pizza. I was like, all right, I'm going to play Fortnite now. I'm like, cool, I just waited for you for 45 seconds. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm good. Yeah, that was so awesome. Oh, my God. Take your time. All right, I'm going to try to cut out as much of this as I can. I just want right up until the Follow, good. Her words are not going to be valuable to the listener. Here. Done. All right, a little weird. Authentic, good. All right, so notice now we have the, the mat here. All right, now this is in slow-mo. Honestly, it's just a little too slow. So this is what I'm thinking. What might be kind of fun and artistic about this, let's see, this whole thing's 22 seconds long. Let's see how much. Here's the sound. All right, so that right there is probably her cheering me on. Um, how does this compare? So much of this we don't need. This is garbage. So that's what I'm thinking. The the kind of cool part is. What I've seen before is like here. I'm gonna cut here, and I'm gonna cut out like this part. So you see part of it, you don't see the whole thing. Then you see part of it and then cut. And then we're just gonna speed up the rest of this. Speed up even more. More, still so super low. Wow, that was much. <laughs> And she's saying, wow, that was much better. Wow, that was much. Wow, that was much. All right, so let's see how that, that looks. That was so awesome. Oh, my God. How does that look? Uh, wow, that was much. Honestly, I think that was, it was, I think it would have been better as, more smaller clips so i'm going to cut that up even more so right now it's in three pieces i'm going to undo everything i just did i'm going to cut that into like five pieces yeah all right so you start at the beginning so what i'm doing is i'm zooming in so it gives me even more so like this whole thing again is 20 seconds i'm going to cut like little parts out of it i think it makes it a little bit more artistic How does this look so far? Can't even tell. All right. Let's scrap that idea. All right. So maybe, I, you know what? I want to speed it up a little bit because I'm just wasting my time. All right. Control R. Speed it up. Let's see how this goes. Still super slow. 
still pretty slow. Um, what's valuable to the viewer? I understand. What will you be thinking? Interesting. Blake, I don't know, man. Uh, you not going on Fortnite, that'll be interesting. I think. I, I mean, I've told you this before, and you've you refused to do this one, which is you trying to do things out. You said you had pads coming in. I want to, like, like, right here, like, you literally – in the previous part here that I was working on, I'll come back to it, is uh, when I'm doing the trampoline, you see me wipe out a bunch of times. So, I mean, I'm on a trampoline, so it doesn't hurt, but, like, this is just me failing a bunch. We want to see that. There's a reason I'm keeping a ton of that in there because you see some success, you see me fail a bunch. And then later on in this vlog, you're going to – so that's the foam pit. And then, like, you're going to see me wipe out a bunch almost. So that was one of the better ones. That's me falling on the ground. Falling on the ground. Right, so like what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell a story with stuff. Like, I don't, like, if you're going to be a vlogger, vlog. Like that, like what I'm creating right now, this is a vlog. If you're going to be a live streamer, don't call yourself a vlogger. Like I, I don't know what's going to be interesting. That's up to you. You're the creator. you got to figure that out. Honestly, from what I've seen so far, I don't know if there is anything that is going to be interesting to me that you can live stream about because you've yet to help hold my attention long enough that I haven't regretted my time watching you. So – you got to come up with what entertains you. And you know what? I might not be your audience. You got to figure out who your audience is. So if it's not 28-year-old dudes, maybe it's people your age. Go ask your friends what is going to hold their attention, what is interesting to them. Just because I found you doesn't, make, doesn't mean I'm part of your audience. You got to find out who's interested. I mean, what's interesting to me is seeing – um, vloggers and YouTubers get better at their craft. Um, you know, maybe it's something like this, like a shortened version of like how you're getting better at making videos. I mean, to me, what's interesting and to the other person watching right now. So Blake, who's in the chat right now is that daily vlogger. He's talked a lot about making daily vlogs and, re and he keeps asking for my feedback and I'm being really straight with him that I have not been impressed with what he's been making. I feel as though he's been showing that he's, he's taking the time to put something up, but not put a whole lot of effort into his, the viewer experience. And he's asked me here what I think would be interesting. And I'm trying to tell him, I want to see him wipe out a bunch of times. I want to see him failing. Um, and I want to see him getting better. And I think, Failure is on the way towards success. Like when you get coaching to to not play Fortnite, when you get coaching to not waste their time by not having an idea in front of you. If you'll notice, there's rarely a moment where I'm not trying somehow to, to give you some kind of value. I could be failing at it, but I'm trying. Yeah, my... Yeah, my pop, the lawyer, my knee pads, and my brother, you got the first, but he needs to remind me to give him, please, because they didn't have any left. To... All right. So, dude, I'm, I don't know, man. I don't see that. You're going to have to find an audience with some other people because I, I just don't know that there's anything that you could live stream about that I would find interesting based on what I've seen so far. You know, maybe if maybe if you start catching other people's attention, I'll jump on. But you've honestly, I've been quite disappointed so far, and I feel like it's not been a good use of my time. And the feedback that I've given you from what I've seen, you've not taken any of the advice, and so it, my time again has gone to waste. My energy of trying to coach you has gone to waste, and I'm not interested in using more time to coach you. Um, if you're not going to listen to what I have to say. So I can appreciate you want to 
you want to protect your knees and you want to protect your body. That's I'm glad to hear that. Um, but I don't think there's anything you could do live streaming that would actually be entertaining enough for me um, because you don't take my advice. So I'm not going to try anymore. Uh, unless you can really hook me with some clickbait, which is the name of the game. If you don't have good clickbait, um, not only are you not going to get my viewership, but there's thousands of people out there that you're not going to get. So you're going to have to work on some some clickbait that's accurate. I think the other thing is you got to make sure clickbait is actually accurate to what you're building. So if you're making a video about, I mean, you know what? Maybe something you could do, and this would probably be outside your comfort zone because you've never seen you do it. Can you do any of the Fortnite dances? I don't know if you're capable of those. That might be interesting. Um, the Ebby family, they have a couple million subscribers. They're pretty interesting. Um, I don't really like watching them lately because they've been doing a lot of Fortnite stuff, and I'm just sick of hearing about Fortnite. But their dancing is pretty awkward, um, and it's kind of fun to watch them and cringe at them that so try dancing I'm, i might be interested in watching that i don't know if i'll watch it live i'll probably watch the recording but yeah how about some dancing nice all right coming back here all right um all right it was laying on the pad it was just taking way too much time up all right there's that all right, there's this one. Yeah, I just want to speed that up a bit more. Just gonna cut that. That's again 20 seconds. <clears throat> cut all of that. Use it. All right, I'm gonna speed that up. It's still pretty slow. Yeah. Oh shoot. Hey, see you go. All right, how much of that is actually valuable? Until about there. This again is still too long. Still not that valuable. Cut that down. Those, those just don't need to be slow. All right, so this is 13, 7, 7. I think these are all me doing flips and me kind of failing at them. All right, I'm going to cut it, cut it, cut it. Let's cut to there. All right, so I can cut out all that. That's good. Cut out that. That's good. Well, I told you what kind of work on a song, you know, make a music video. But I told you what kind of work on a song, you know, make a music video. I don't know what you're trying to say. That the, those words don't make sense to me. Well, I told you what kind of work on a song, you know, make a music video. Add some commas or some grammar in there, man. I don't understand that. All right. Good. Failed. Cut there. One more fail. All right, I'm hoping this will be a good recap of that. So again, in terms of the storytelling, I think um, I can play some music over all of this. And at this point, I just want to recap the day. All right. That is loud. Do not need to be that loud. All right, school's out today. I made, I just made a pit stop in Marlboro. Got all my camera equipment. We're gonna do it today. I got my favorite shirt on. Nope. Oh, this is okay. So this is not even a recap. So, um, 
oh, who, how do I want to say this? I'm thinking I might want to, so because I don't have any captions, um, I will probably, I'm thinking I'll put some captions in here to tell the story. So this again is, all right, and copy and paste, control C. Let's not do that. Well, this, control C, control V. So if I had this little time clip right here, it'll, it'll point out to people that this is the 22nd at noon. This is the 23rd. So it's the next day. It's in the late afternoon. Um, that will show the difference. Hmm. All right. So again, this is me trying to get amped up for the next part. And let's just notice. It's 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes here. It's 26 and a half. So that's, that's a solid, I mean, we got to cut that way down. So this whole thing's 30 seconds. Um, and we just want to evolve through this. So I'm just going to have, I'm going to start cutting things left and right here. Um, just so we can get, get rid of stuff. This is me walking in. I think this is them trying to say hi to me. All right, I'm just gonna cut that out. We're gonna make this happen today. It's gonna be dope. And I can move that over, cut that out. First fair. That was fair. so much better. Okay, so one yes. thing I want you to notice here is that you can, as you see me flipping over her, she's helping me a lot out. I'm like sitting like right there. That's a lot of strength she's using right there to hold me up and make sure I don't fall over. So that's making a huge difference for me as I do that. All right, I want to see if I can cut off even a half second out of each of these. Right there, boom. And again, I don't really need these. This is so I can keep a hold of chronological order. And I think uh, an interesting clip here would be like, if I had a title saying like, let's start failing or something. There, it's gone. That was so much better. That was so much better. I don't think I'm going to end up using the the vocal here, but I think it's good. It's valuable. I think seeing and hearing her give me continuous feedback along the way. So I'm going to keep that in there for now. Though it'll probably get annoying if you hear too much of it. This is this is like the back room area where she's working with me, and then we start moving over into like a much more main area. Um, and you can see like a bunch of other gymnasts around the place. 
Um, and there's gonna, we're gonna have some different camera angles in here now. So this is where I was having a hard time cutting things out before because I was having, there's so much here. So again, from here to the end, there's 14 minutes and I don't know how many total jumps I did here, but you're gonna see this little title here, um, which points out exactly what time it is. So the reason I did that is because I have a bunch of camera, I have two to three camera angles for every single jump and I wanted to match a couple of them up. I tried to be a little creative, so like watch here. This next one. I tried merging the camera angles and having one of them have an opacity. So I synchronized them pretty close up. They're not perfect, but you'll notice that one of them's showing and one of them is not. So, oh, all right. Oh, my friend's texting me. Hold up. Let me know in the comments anything that's, I, I see there's one person watching. Dude, answer Jenna. Dang it. All right. I think I'm going to quit out. So wait for it. Stop screen sharing. Let's see. All right. So thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this is valuable. Let me know in the comments. Let me know um, if, if you actually found this valuable. Let me know what it was about it that you found valuable. A couple of people gave me a few things. Um, just like a live tutorial of how I'm trying to put together a vlog. Um, I can see myself doing this for a future um, like, like video that I'm trying to put together. I've been doing a ton of live streaming lately, so uh, this is a little bit different. I don't put this much energy into every single video that I do. Um, it's really the ones that I think are valuable that I had a lot of fun doing and I wanna tell a good story. Um, so I'm not gonna do this all the time. But let me know if you found it valuable, what specifically about it. If, if you think it would be valuable to someone else, share it with them. Let me know what else you'd like me to do, if it's specifically to do with Google Hangouts um, on air, if it has to do with screen sharing, and if it has to do with iMovie. Um, I've been working with iMovie now for, two, uh, what, two years now? No, no, like a year and a half or so. I've been working with, no, more than that. Almost, almost two years with, with iMovie. So I have a pretty solid amount of experience. I'm pretty quick with it. Um, let me know what I can do to help you out. Be, be a better creator. Hashtag I am a creator. Thank you for watching. Stay weird, humans. Yay.